What's up, everybody? I'm Razor Fake Steve. Welcome to the second section of the Razor Naga interface add-on tutorial. In this section, we will show you how to set up and configure your Razor Naga in-game. The Naga add-on is a graphical interface designed to provide higher ease of use and an easy way to bind every command you need to your Razor Naga buttons. When you launch your game with the add-on for the first time, it will ask you if you want to automatically bind your keys. This will take the commands that you have previously bound to the number row of your keyboard and place those commands on bar 1 of the add-on. To enter the add-on's menu, click the Razor add-on icon that appears on your mini-map. Here we can see a graphic representation of the active and inactive command bars you have available to you. The first thing to notice is the configuration mode menu at the top of the screen. The first checkbox on this window toggles automatic use of your Razor Naga's buttons for bar 1 and assigns the pet bar to your Naga button plus the control modifier. That is, pressing a button with your Razor Naga while holding control on the keyboard to issue commands to your active pet if you have one. The second checkbox enables character-specific key bindings, meaning that the customization of your interface will only apply to the current character you are logged in with. The 1, 2, 3 and num drop-down switches how your Razor Naga button inputs are recognized by the add-on. The default setting on both the add-on and your Razor Naga itself is the 1, 2, 3 configuration, which relates to the number row on your keyboard. The num configuration relates to the number pad on the keyboard. This drop-down will automatically switch commands between your number row and num pad, as the Razor Naga's buttons will replace one or the other. Paired with the switch located on your Razor Naga, you can bind all of your commands to either section of keys, leaving the other free for additional key bindings. Be sure that your Naga and your add-on are on the same setting at all times. Located in the center of your configuration mode menu is a button that switches the layout of your bars between a horizontal and a vertical position. The vertical position displays your bars in a format similar to the keypad on a mobile phone, with 1 to 3 across the top, cycling through to button 12. The horizontal position displays your bars as the buttons appear on your Razor Naga itself when it sits on your desk, with 1 to 3 proceeding vertically up the left side, 4 to 6 up the next row, and so on. There are two buttons at the upper left of the configuration mode menu. The left button allows you to manually assign key bindings by hovering your cursor over a command and inputting the desired key binding. This will disable the always use Razor Naga button setting, which can be re-enabled at any time. The right button opens the display options menu, which you can also access by right-clicking the Razor add-on icon on your minimap. To switch back to the bar configuration menu, click the configure bar button or simply left-click on the Razor add-on icon. You can manually bind keys from this menu as well by clicking the bind key button. Let's move on to setting up your commands. We've provided a configuration interface that makes this very simple. Rather than manually assigning every button, enable the option Always Use Razor Naga Buttons. On your screen, you'll see several boxes that can be moved around. The boxes titled with numbers can be customized with any set of commands you'd like. The pet bar shows your pet's commands if your character has an active pet and can't be assigned with other commands. These keys again default to your Razor Naga buttons plus the control modifier. That is, holding control and pressing a button on your Razor Naga. The cast bar determines the placement of the bar that appears when you cast a spell. This too can be positioned anywhere on the screen. 
The item roll bar determines where items that drop and must be rolled on appear. The menu, bags, experience, and vehicle interface bars can also be placed anywhere on the screen. Boxes colored blue are currently enabled and are visible when the configuration menu is closed. Boxes in gray are disabled and can be toggled by either clicking your mouse wheel or holding shift and right clicking on the box. By default, bar 1 holds the commands previously bound to your number row keys. Let's enable bar 2 and assign it a modifier. Click the Show This Bar button on bar 2. Then click Configure This Bar. The first menu that pops up is the Bindings menu. If the Always Use Razor Naga Keys option is enabled, selecting a modifier from this menu will bind that entire bar to the appropriate Razor Naga key combined with that modifier. I'm going to bind this bar to Shift. Exit configuration and place an additional set of in-game commands on this bar. You now have 12 commands bound to bar 2 and they can all be accessed by holding shift and pressing the appropriate key on your Razor Naga. This method of binding keys can be repeated for every bar on your Razor add-on with a different modifier, placing a multitude of commands on the same button simultaneously. The other method of binding keys involves using the modifier menu on bar 1. Assigning a modifier through this menu rather than the bindings menu will switch that bar to a different set of commands upon activating the selected modifier. Let's use the buttons we've assigned to bar 2. With commands assigned to bar 2, disable the bar. This will prevent bar 2 from showing up on your screen, but all the commands assigned to it will still remain. In the modifier menu on a different bar, we'll use bar 1. Move the slider of the desired modifier to the right until bar 2 is displayed on the menu. I've assigned it to Alt key. You can assign four different pages to any bar using Shift, Alt, and Control. Notice that when you hold Alt after assigning Alt to bar 2 in this menu, the commands assigned to bar 2 appear. Simply by holding Alt and activating the appropriate button on your Razor Naga, you access this second set of commands. Since every gamer has his or her own preferences, every bar on the Razer add-on can be customized in terms of size of the buttons, which also changes the size of the ability icons, number of buttons available to a maximum of 12 per bar, layout in terms of how the buttons are positioned in each bar, spacing between each button, padding around the bars so with sticky bars enabled in the configuration menu they won't overlap, and opacity of the icons on those bars. Using these options, you can create a layout for the Razer add-on that is visually pleasing and eliminates clutter on your screen. Those are the basic functions to get you started using your Razer Naga and the interface add-on. Combining the two delivers an exceptional MMO gaming experience. Head to GetImba.com to download this add-on and start showing the other gamers the power of Razer.